<laughs> How's it, my bro? Brother Charles. Whoa. You see what you see? What's going on live? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? We just extended the range. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got uh, we've got 576 LEDs, and we're only using one watt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, and the plot thickens. How much thicker can it get? It's uh yeah. So I, I did the math I did the math on these two, so to light up this number of LEDs you normally use um twenty eight watts and we're using one. And uh the battery would normally last fifty eight hours. Uh or excuse me, it would normally last one point five and it's lasting fifty eight hours with this system. What? 58 hours. So we increased uh, we increased the runtime by putting on more LEDs. <laughs> yeah, man. So is all you need is a big capacitor, and then in theory you can charge another battery in less than 58 hours. Exactly. Yeah. Really. How long does it take to charge one of those batteries? It shouldn't be a problem. Look what, look what Daniel's done. Can you show us all the lights that you've got in series? That's uh, 576. Can you show us in the camera? Is it... Hold on a second. Is it, is it oh, wait, no, those are the lights on the left. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing my camera. Okay, but no, I see some lights on the left and some lights on the right. So look, he's lighting all of these lights with one watt of power. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So basically what, what we've done here is uh, we took... Uh, we took these two coils there, and these coils are acting like pickup coils to condense the field and turn on this other panel there. Okay. Oh my god, man. That's really powerful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... So one watt of power is like you can... Uh... Light the whole house. No, you can just like... It wouldn't even you wouldn't even notice the electrocuting you, would you? What was that? You wouldn't notice one what electrocuting you, would it? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that we have one watt of power going through the lights. So you'll feel a bite if you put your finger on it. It's not going to really zap you till you're dead, like um, like the regular wall current would. No. It, it would be a little a little shock, but. But you said it's just one watt that's going into this, right? Yeah, but the but the output potential is is clearly more than one watt. Oh yeah, you should we should try the electrocution test. <laughs> oh, you, it's charging. What is this? You should probably do it like a. So is this the resonance here? That you're trying to get yeah. it in resonance so that it. Well, that's because I have a potentiometer on it. So it sometimes click out. Well, depending on the value, it's all about sound frequency. So whatever sound frequency you put into it, you get a different effect. So it's a, a matter of tuning it into resonance. You find what the, the maximum output frequency is, and you try to dial into it. Now this is what, sorry, this is what Franklin does with the U-tron, but it takes him ages to tune it up. Like really fine, fine, fine tuning to find exactly. Oh, see, right, right after here, what just happened there? What we would do is just we read the potentiometer where it's at now, the value of it, and then we replace the potentiometer with the set value resistor. That way, I can always turn it on to be this same exact sound frequency. You see, so you. In the long run, to make more stable units that don't really have so much dialing you would just have an on and off switch with a, a set value resistor there. 
can I add my friend Dave to this conversation who's uh, helped us get in touch with this facility in the UK, this big manor house? As, sure. Okay, cool. Dave? Oh, he hasn't answered. He's like looking after vulnerable kids and these programs. Hi, Dave, are you there? Oh, it's just ringing. doing her homework over there. Yeah. I'm copying what my dad wrote. Okay, I wrote, where did it go? But I wrote these ones. Yeah. Uh, hi, Dave, are you there? Well, I'm there, Charlie. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. Good. I'm on the line with my friend Daniel. Can you see those stack of coils over there? Hello, Dave. Hello, mate. You good? Doing well, doing well. Can you see in the video feed? Um, no, I'm on an iPhone, so I've just got um, just got voice. Oh, okay, that's a shame because Daniel's got three Rodin coils, Abha coils, uh, Nunez coils, <laughs> unification coils, and they are um, they're lighting 500 and something LEDs with one watt of power. Wow. Five seventy six. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, totally Thank cool. You. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd introduce you before the call, which, whoa, it's going to be right now. Hey, guys, I better get off and, uh, and start making this call. Okay, sounds great. I'll uh, be there. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for being here, Take Dave. Take care, Dave. Nice meeting you. Right. He'll be on the call. He'll be on the call. Okay, speak to you soon then. Okay, bye. All right.